welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. Stick around, today we're gonna to talk about Google Analytics. A lot of you have asked how to use Google Analytics inside of your WordPress website. Today I'm gonna to walk you through actually how to set up your Google Analytics to connect with your WordPress website. And it's super simple, really easy, but you have to be doing it. So uh, let's get the tutorial started. Here we go. Okay, y'all, I hope you're already running WordPress 4.0 because you're gonna see us as we're walking through how to do all this, you're gonna see a new environment in the plugins area. So don't get freaked out if you're not already running it. Uh, this works either way. So what I wanna show you today is just very simply how to connect your website with your Google Analytics account. So what I'm assuming is you've already gone to Google, you've already set up your Google Analytics account. You can do that for free. If you haven't done that yet, pause this video, go over to Google, do a Google search, Google Analytics, and go create your first account uh, for your website. They're gonna walk you through how to set it all up. Very, very simple, just a couple of steps you have to go through. And when you're done, what you should have is this, this UA number. And that is unique to just your one website, okay? I've got a couple of different websites listed here. Each one of those has a unique uh, tracking number. So this is your Google Analytics tracking number specifically for your website. You wanna copy that on your clipboard and then we're gonna go back over to our website, okay? And I'm gonna go install uh, a new plugin. I'm going to use, uh, there's all sorts of different plugins you can use to, to connect your Google Analytics, your website, to your Google Analytics tracking. There's all sorts of ones. The one I'm gonna show you today is by Yoast. Most of us know we love Yoast. Um, so I'm gonna just do a quick search for Google Analytics. Um, there you go for Yoast, Google Analytics. And here's the, um, the plugin here. You can see it's been used over six million times. I guess that means it's good. And it was last updated four days ago, which is great again. So you really wanna pay attention to those things whenever you're installing any plugin for that matter. You wanna be sure it's good for your current version of WordPress and that it's being used a lot and that it has good reviews, okay? That's just some safety that you, you wanna uh, always pay attention to. So I'm gonna click install now, okay? And that's actually gonna bring over now uh, that plugin into my server and now I'm able to use it. So you'll notice now on this left side uh, navigation, now I have an area for my analytics and I can go to my dashboard of that. This is something new that they're just getting ready to, to be able to bring you is actually a dashboard right here so you don't have to go log into your Google Analytics. That's why I'm excited about this plugin. If you go to settings, this is how we connect that number. We have to plug in that number, right? So right here, you can manually enter your number I've already gone in and set up my account. So there's those are those three sites that you saw there. And this is my um, this is the one I want them to monitor though. Down here toward the bottom, I can click Save Changes. And now I've actually got my website set up to feed my Google Analytics. That's all it is. That's it. It's just literally pasting in this unique tracking number. Okay, that unique tracking number and clicking Save Changes. So now your website has, basically what it's done is it's taken that tracking number and it's gone and it's put it in your header file for you. It's written the nerd code it takes to drop that into the header file so that now whenever you go to the front side of your website and we do a refresh, let's go see if I can find the nerd code, all right? So I'm gonna go um, look here at the page source and I'm gonna just do a quick search, find my nerd code, oh, here it is right there. Um, here's my nerd code. So what it did is it went into my header and uh, dropped in this Yoast Google Analytics plugin here. It dropped in all the nerd code it takes to actually connect the, uh, my website with my Google Analytics account. And now, uh, before it, one, once they actually get the dashboard built, you'll be able to just log into your website and get to see all the cool stuff. Um, but until then, you'll have to still go over to your Google Analytics and log into your dashboard here to see all that sort of tracking. Super easy, super important to do. Okay, so that's super simple and you all should be doing it, no excuses. Everybody should use the plugin that I shared with you. Go drop in your UA number, make it happen and start monitoring your Google Analytics. But don't get overwhelmed because I know whenever you go into that dashboard, there's a lot going on for Google Analytics. Next week, you wanna tune back in because I'm gonna actually walk you through how to understand all the randomness going on over there, what sort of elements you should be monitoring and taking notes of so that you can really help your online marketing. All right, stick around. See you next WordPress Wednesday. Bye-bye.